Hey house guests, welcome to today's BBCAN 6 updates and spoilers. We've got a plurific show for you today. So our house guest of the day is Michael Lum. Michael, thank you so much for the support. We really, really appreciate it. And if you guys want to be house guest of the day, check out our Patreon link in the info box below. Oh, what up? What's going on in the house right now? Well, when we left off yesterday, Erica had her Wendy's meal and she invited Will to join her because she wants to get to know him a little bit better. She sees him as somebody that she could potentially work with moving forward and she's planning on taking out his number one ally this week. So <laughs> maybe she can scoop him up. Who knows? All right. So she was talking about her Wendy's experience with Olivia and she said, well, Will told me that Veronica's really getting on his nerves and he feels like he's guilty by association when she does all of her crazy stuff. You know, he's like tied to that. Um, like for example, when Veronica tried to freak out Olivia about the votes last week. Everybody always says that it's Olivia that did this, but let's not forget, Hamza was the one who was like initiating this and Veronica was playing along. So like don't, you know, say yes, Veronica was part of this, but Hamza was also part of that. Let's not forget that, okay? Um, so then they think that maybe Will will get on board and vote Veronica out. The seed has been planted here. He's not going to want to go against everybody. So Erica let Will know people want to get to know you and potentially work with you, but they feel like they can't right now because of Veronica. So could be maybe good for you if she's not around, I don't know. So then they talk about how hot they think he is, especially when he wears his baseball cap backwards. And then Olivia says, sometimes his accent turns me off. <laughs> okay, Olivia, back to the game. It sounds like Erica has decided she will definitely be using the veto on Maddie and putting up Veronica. And it's gonna be such a huge moment because she's not telling anyone from the white room beforehand, neither of the nominees, not Veronica, it's going to be crazy. And she's planning on possibly making some sort of snarky speech referencing Plur or saying like there can only be one bad bitch in the house. Oh my god. It's going to be crazy. Um, of course, we're not going to see that until the show because we don't get to see the ceremonies play out live. But whatever. Olivia tells her, do not react if Veronica freaks out. You know, we need to just stay calm. It's gonna be okay. Alright, so some of these house guests are in for a surprise, because like I said, Erica has only told Olivia, Ali, uh, I think Kayla and Derek, and I think that's it. <laughs> for now, that Veronica will be going up. Everybody else thinks like maybe something could happen here, but those are the only people that she told for sure. Okay, so then um, Marin and Hamza were talking out by the hot tub, and Marin's like, I don't think Erica's going to be using the power veto. I can tell just from the talk that we had. Oh, Marin, he's not like, he's not good at this game. So <laughs> Hamza's like, I think she might use it because he knows that Erica's been thinking about it. They've talked about it a good amount, um, and he's been encouraging her to make a big move. And it's been implied that it would be Veronica, but she hasn't told Hamza straight up, I'm gonna use it. And I think it's kind of been bugging him a little bit because he's like, I wanna know what's gonna happen. And she's been telling him to trust the process. Oh, using his own phrase against him. All right, so Hamza and Marin both agree that the nominees were weak this week. You know, both of them were weak. Hello, I wonder why. Freaking wake up. What do you think is going on here? So then they're talking about how Marin's going to have to lock in some votes against Maddie. He's got to get Dela. He's got to get Allie and Olivia. But who cares? Because he's going to be up against Veronica. <gasps> Excuse me. Okay. <laughs> that wasn't a boredom yawn. That was a tired yawn. Um, so Erica really laid down the law yesterday. She was telling everybody that she's only going to talk game with the two nominees until the veto ceremony because... Those are the only people that she needs to be talking to. Really, she's just doing this because she wants to avoid talking to Veronica in these like marathon strategy chats. So it worked. Uh, Veronica respected that. She did, she did still talk game with her people, her Red Room people, and also Marin and Maddie making their pitches, but... There wasn't a ton of game talk yesterday because of that. So then Johnny and Olivia did have a game chat in the HOH room, and it seems like 
Johnny's looking to put together an official team. <laughs> he he wants his group because he's kind of just been floating around, hanging out with everybody. He's good with everybody at this point, but he wants to make something official. So he asks Olivia if she is in a named alliance with anyone. Specif specifically something that's been named, okay? Which is kind of crazy because you could be in a really, really tight alliance and just like it doesn't have a name, right? But she's like, ah! <laughs> Allie and I have joked around about that stuff, but no. <laughs> so she says, I trust Allie 100%, but she doesn't have to be my only person. Like, I can trust somebody else that much. Hint, hint. And Johnny's like, well, I trust the two of you more than anybody else in this house. So let's go. Like, let's get something together here. So then he asks if Erica talks game with her, and she's like, yeah. And she says that Erica also wants to talk game with Johnny, but she's been nervous because she knows that Johnny's so good with everyone, and anytime somebody comes to Johnny about, like, getting rid of somebody else, he's just like, oh, but I like them. So she doesn't know how he would react to game talk. Um... But he's like, no, I want to make something happen. Like, let's do this. So a little while later, Johnny, Allie, Erica, and Olivia are out by the hot tub. And he tells them, you three ladies are my tops. <laughs> top what? Ah! Okay. I don't know if that was like a you're the tops kind of thing. Or like a tops and bottoms kind of thing. But they all got a kick out of that. So then Olivia says, we're like Johnny's angels. And Erica's like, this makes me so happy. They all agree that they want this to happen. They've been wanting to work with Johnny for a really long time, but they didn't know if he felt the same way. So they're like, this is amazing. It's genuine and it doesn't feel forced. Um, so then Johnny's like, okay, great. Let's make sure we keep this on the DL. I want everybody to think that I'm still like a lone wolf and I'm not working with anybody. And they're like, yeah, yeah, of course. So then Olivia's like, Back to the name. She wants it to be Johnny's Angels, but before they can really decide on it, Paris comes outside and breaks up the chat. Okay, so then later, it was time to drop the backdoor bomb on Johnny. He's now a part of the group, so they feel like they should let him know what's about to happen because I think he would be pretty pissed if he didn't know about this huge move that was about to happen. So Johnny's Angels that may change, assemble in the HOH room, and uh, Erica reveals, I'm going to be pulling Maddie off the block and putting up Veronica, and Johnny's like, you are? <laughs> he lets out this, like, gust of wind. <laughs> like, he was definitely quite shocked by this. He's close to Veronica, and he saw himself working with her pretty far into the game, he didn't want her to go this week, but it's not looking good. So Erica's like, well, I don't want to waste my week, so <laughs> this is what I'm planning on doing. She says that nobody else knows, so shh. And Johnny's like, um, I don't know if I like this. He really wanted Marin out this week because Marin doesn't do anything for his game. And the girls are like, hey, Veronica's got to go. She's playing every side. She might not be coming after you or Veronica, or sorry, or Erica at this point, but she is going to come after Allie and Olivia, and we can't have that. So then um, Johnny's like, I guess. <laughs> he just doesn't want anyone to know that he knew about this ahead of time, because Veronica would be really pissed. All right, so then Erica's like, no, 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 no. It's all going to be on me, and yes, it's going to be hell, but... It is what it is. So Allie says that they're going to have to support her by following through and voting out Veronica. And then next week, or next eviction, protecting Erica. Okay, moving on. Um, Johnny starts making plans for the future. He says, all right, we got our group of four. But now we need to pull in some more people on the side if we're really going to build this thing to last. So he's like, please, can we not align with Dela. He doesn't want to work with them because he wants to take them out. So they're like, okay, cool. I mean, the girls kind of have this deal with Kayla that they're not going to go after each other until after jury starts, but I'm pretty sure jury's going to be starting after this double eviction, right? Probably. I think so. Um, so he's like, we should work with Will and Paris. And they're all like, yeah, yeah, okay. Um, except there is a little bit of like a, uh, about Paris just because they feel like she's a little bit insecure. Um, she's been going around to everybody saying like, I have no one in this house. And they're kind of like, um, 
what? It's like when somebody says they have no friends and they say that to one of their friends. So there's a little bit of like a skepticalness there for Paris, but she is so freaking safe now. Just a side note, since Jessie's been gone, nobody has been thinking of her as a target or a threat. So she has the potential to go really deep into this game. And then if she can turn it on like she's planning on doing, she could be good. So the group seems into it. They're like, yeah, we'll see. We'll work on Will in Paris and see what happens. Okay. So <coughs> I just died. <laughs> so then Erica and, Erica and Johnny talk again alone later in the HOH room. It was like 2 a.m. And Erica's explaining again why they have to take out Veronica. She wants to make sure that this is okay with Johnny. So she's telling him, Veronica's not after us right now, but she will be soon. And we know that she's an amazing competitor. So we don't want to be going up against her at the end of the game when it's like crazy. So Johnny's like, all right, fine, moving on. He vouches for Paris again. He says, I talked to her earlier and she named every member of Johnny's Angels as people that she can trust and she feels really good about. So it seems like we can just pull her in and it's gonna be great. Um, so Erica is like, yeah, we're gonna need someone to take out Allie and, Allie and Olivia eventually. So I guess they're not planning on going to the final four with them. I guess they're going to take them out before that. Um, also, I don't think it's like official yet, but Erica and Johnny are kind of like flirting with the idea of a final two. They're like, wouldn't it be cool if there were two gay people in the final two? It'd be pretty cool. Um, but yeah, I guess this final four, I mean, this alliance is not really a final four per se. I think that's an important distinction to make. All right, so then uh, the other thing of note last night, there was a huge ass pillow fight, and I mean, it got wild. Okay, so moving on today, um, Maddie really needs to get it together. She was practicing some like weird ass power of veto speech. She's not expecting to come off the block at this point. She doesn't know what's about to happen. This speech, man, I can, can you imagine if Erica had this plan in place to put up Veronica, but then she hears this speech from Maddie and she's just like, oh, you know what, I'm just going to leave the nominations the same. Um, Maddie wanted to point out to everybody that Erica won another tough competition and she's like a really strong competitor and she was going to say like, I admire that no one can tell you what to do. What? I mean, what the hell kind of speech is that? I don't think that's a good idea. Are you trying to get her to leave you up on the block? <laughs> Ugh, okay. Um, and then also, Veronica, I feel like there was like a gas leak in the house or something because everybody was going crazy. Veronica basically reveals to Will how she entered the game. And if you remember, Big Brother told Veronica and Marin, don't tell anybody how you got in here or you're going to be in trouble. So she was like, there were four of us on stage and blah, blah, blah. She's telling them about the other two people who didn't make it into the house. She said that she thought she was going to be walking into an empty house. She didn't realize she was coming in a week late. Um, is she going to get in trouble or are they just going to let this slide? I don't know. But then a little while later, the feeds go down for the power veto ceremony. Oh my God. So they were down for a few hours, which was longer than usual. And when they come back, we find out that Erica did in fact go through with her plan. She used the veto on Maddie, put up Veronica. So it's Veronica versus Marin this week. Four week plan, no. <laughs> um, also, now I guess this is why the feeds were down extra long. The whole house is on slop right now. They can't go in the hot tub, I think. Big Brother may have even taken away their hot water. They're being punished right now, okay? This is the annual slap down for disrespecting Big Brother. They do it every season. They make them feel guilty for being jerks, um, for not listening to Big Brother, for like flipping the cameras off, being like, F you Big Brother, for sleeping in when Big Brother's like, get your asses up, for not going to bed when Big Brother's like, good night house kiss, and <laughs> cursing, singing, all these things. Maybe also because Veronica told Will too many details about how she and Marin came into the game. I don't know if that's actually part of it, but I wouldn't be surprised. So everybody's upset about it. They're like, sorry, BB. You know how they get. They're like, I feel so bad. And like, Canada's gonna see this. And everybody works so hard on the show. We're here. Like, this is our job right now. 
They do it every season. Okay, and also Veronica's in full cry mode because she was not expecting to go up on the block like this. So she was talking to Johnny and she's upset that she didn't get to play for the power of veto. Um, she's worried that people are just going to vote with the house. She hopes that people give her a chance and hear her out as individuals. Good luck with that. And she's just scared that she's going to have to rely on other people right now. She didn't get that opportunity to take herself off the block. So, yeah, it sucks to be backdoor, doesn't it? Ooh. All right, so then Erica asks Veronica if they can talk later. And V is like, yeah, we don't have to tiptoe around each other. Let's, let's not be weird. Like, let's just be cool, Countess Luann. So Erica says, okay, cool. Find me later. You know, whenever you want to talk later, we'll talk. Well, apparently later is now, <laughs> and oh my god, this conversation went on and on. Um, Veronica just starts campaigning, which is crazy because Erica's only going to be voting if it's a tie. She should be working on other people, but I guess she figures the way things have gone, like if you can convince the HOH that you should stay, the HOH will convince their people that you should stay. I guess that's her thinking, but I don't know for sure. So... Anyway, V is telling her there would be a lot of benefits for you to keep me over Marin in the game. And <laughs> we don't have to be at war with each other just because you put me on, on the block. I know you're trying to make this big move right now, but wouldn't it be even bigger if you kept me after all of that? So she's saying, if I, she's saying if I stay, I will fight for you. You don't have to worry about me coming after you because of this. It's fine. We can have a clean slate. We can work together. So she says, give me a chance to prove myself to you. Give me a chance to plead my case to you over the next three days. Woo, it's going to be a long three days. But Erica's like, yeah, that's the least I can do. I will definitely be hearing you out. And this goes on and on for like more than half an hour. I'm, I'm not going to get into everything because it was pretty much the same thing over and over again. Both of them cried. They agree that they're going to chill for the rest of the day. We'll see if that actually happens. And then talk again tomorrow. You know, take some time to collect their thoughts and just prepare. I think that gives us time to prepare as well. <laughs> Again, we'll see if it actually happens. Because Veronica kept saying, like, oh, this was a short, a nice short little chat. <laughs> it was really long already. Okay, so then, <laughs> meanwhile, Maddie and Will were trying to figure out what they're going to do this week. And they're thinking, like, okay, who's going to have our backs the most? going into this double eviction. Obviously, Veronica is a way more of a fierce competitor than Marin, so she'd be pretty good to have around. So Maddie assumes that Will is gonna vote to keep Veronica, and he's like, I don't know, I'm not sure, because I don't wanna go against the whole freaking house. So Will is like, we're gonna have to talk to people, we're gonna have to think about it, we'll see what happens. Maddie is just shell-shocked that she's safe right now because she went into this day thinking like, oh my god, I'm going to have to start campaigning. What am I going to do? Um, and then after Will leaves, Maddie talks to the cameras and she's just like, I can't vote to keep Veronica. Um, I'm going to have to be careful this week with what I do. You know, I was lucky enough to be saved. I can't screw this up. But she says, I'm not going home week four. It could still happen, okay? There is a double eviction coming up. I'm sorry, but Maddie just has been annoying me lately because she makes, like, a lot of mistakes, and I want her to do well. Maybe that's why it hurts so badly, because I want other super fans to do well, but they just tend to shoot themselves in the foot. Um... And I think it's, like, fun that Erica made this move, but Veronica, I really enjoy watching her in the feeds because she's just, like, ah! all the time. And it's, it's, it's a good time to watch. Um, but anyway, let me know what you guys think in the comments. And until tomorrow, much love.